Hi, and welcome to Facts and Blog and Podcast. Uh, this week, uh, we kind of got a whole line of questioning uh, from uh, Chuck from Columbus, Ohio. Um, but we'll start with the first one here. It, he asks, why did Faxon go with a 1.8 twist rate instead of 1.7? Uh, he didn't leave a caliber, so let's just assume 5.56 five, since that's yeah. one of our more popular ones. Uh, but what what led to the you know our choosing a twist rate? You know, that that's a valid question. It's a little tricky. Um, you know, <clears throat> I think some of it's based in history. Um, you know, so so at the start of facts and firearms uh, rifle line, uh, the gun community was um, mainly of the opinion uh, that you should uh, stabilize only as much as needed. And I think the uh, the opinions in the gun world have, have shifted a little towards um, you can't overstabilize. Uh, mm. You know, so so the question of, of one in eight versus one in seven is a little tricky. But I, I think at the end of the day, the important thing to... Um, to understand about that question is um, the amount of stabilization in the one in eight versus one in seven don't matter for the platform. You're gotcha. not going to load a long enough bullet uh, that fits in a five, five, six air 15 mag uh, mm -hmm. to really need one in seven stabilization. Uh, you know, so take it for what you will you can't over stabilize this sure. uh, you know so so why not do one in seven um you know which which opens up the possibility to be using um much uh longer heavier bullets and um you know the the facts of the matter are you're not going to be using those bullets uh in an air 15 mag gotcha. um you know, so I, I think it's a valid question. Um, you know, when when I say that five, seven years ago, the the AR world was leaning towards uh, min amount of stabilization. Uh, you know, I think the thinking back then was, you know, had, had to do with um, bullet manufacturer uh, quality control and, you know, the risk of um, spinning something too fast that uh, may not be the most highly QC'd item, um, gotcha. you know, leading to inaccuracy. So, you know, we made we made a decision to go with a one and eight twist. And I think it's valid to, you know, to today. You know, yeah. I, I think that for the AR-15 platform in 5.56, um, it's a valid decision. Gotcha. Hi and welcome, Hi and welcome to the Facts and Blog and Podcast.